Hello! I'm holding a very, very fancy microphone. It even has a disco ball at the bottom of it. Hopefully you can still hear me. Can you hear me? Hear me very well. Hello everyone. Today I'm having a new setup and a new microphone. Yay! I haven't been in Vietnam for the past almost 13 years and this is a very special day because my mom likes to celebrate it. Today is Vietnamese Women's Day. Hooray! And I would like to talk about Reply 1988. And my dad bought roses this morning. That makes my mom and me happy. Being with my mom for so long makes me really appreciate little moments. I don't get to celebrate, take holidays with my parents or my mom's or my dad's birthday that much because it's all falls during the school years and traveling tickets back to Vietnam from the US is very expensive. After I graduated, I was very excited to earn income so that I could purchase tickets for my parents to come visit or for me to come home. Then the pandemic happened. Now it's 2021 and this is the first autumn, first fall that I'm here spending time with my family. So I have been thinking a lot about what I want to do with my mom and my dad, especially with my mom. My mom has been through a lot of difficult time uh, on her own while I'm away. With my dad's of course, still supporting her, but still she has been through a lot and she has been a very strong woman. So today is a very special episode that I would like to dedicate to her. I want to talk about the series Reply 1988. I choose the series to watch with my mom. My mom and I like to watch dramas and movies, but we couldn't watch them together. There was uh, not a lot of common interest when I was away. She likes watching Korean dramas, but I like to watch it with English subtitles, and she likes to watch it with Vietnamese voiceover translation. There aren't that many new films or dramas that have Vietnamese voiceover translation. And Besides the time zone difference was making it very difficult for me to spend time with her. Recently, I discovered Park Bogum and Park Bogum star in Reply 1988. It is really nice because 1988 was released in 2015 when I was in college. I was too young back then to understand that a film from a different era could resonate with me very well. But now, when I watch it, I just find it really perfect because it's really long enough ago so that they created a Vietnamese voiceover translation on the film. Me and my mom could enjoy watching it together. Reply 1998 is about a community living in a street in Seoul in Korea and because Korea is very close to Vietnam a lot of the elements how people live back then, how people cook, how people take shower, how people read the news, how people hang out together I could totally relate. It felt like I was transported back to my childhood. I hope this microphone is not distracting because it's like not only magnifying my voice, but it's also magnifying my breath. In 1988, my mom was old enough to remember things and she clearly could relate to all the details that happened in the dramas. Reply 1988 brings a lot of memories back. It's making me very nostalgic, nostalgic to the area where human interactions are much more preferred than technologies. Reply 1988 tells the story of five different families that have parents and children. They live in the same neighborhood and the children grows up together since they are little. There are a lot of the scenes in the dramas that reminds me of when I was living on the fourth floor and my room has a lot of windows. But all one side of the wall was windows and when I pick my head 
outside the window, I could see the playground. And in the summer, all the kids could gather together and learn how to dance, learn how to sing, and we would have competitions between different districts. When people want to hang out, instead of coming to the door and politely ring the bell, they would just go to the playground and yell my name, and then I would like stick my head outside the window and yell back to them to respond that I would come down soon. Um, it was really a very simple, simple way to live. And back then, there wasn't a cell phone, iPhones either. There was only a table phone, a landline phone. I still remember my number. Every time the phone rang, I remember me running on top speed to reach the phone before it stopped ringing. The directing is very brilliant. The cameraman was literal, literally follow every single kids into their home, and uh, I love how they decide to not smooth out the camera movement, but left it in a way it feels like somebody is actually moving the camera, uh, holding the camera in the hand, and following each characters. It makes it feel really authentic um, instead of being polished. The struggle between siblings is also a very heartwarming moment. Uh, I cannot personally relate to because I don't have any sibling, but my friends have sibling, and when I visit them, I could see how they argue all the time. But despite all the seemingly uh, World War Three happening every day, um, by the end of the day, siblings are bonded by blood, and so that is not very possible. <laughs> The relationships between neighbors, how they share food, how the wives would bring things on the street to sleep with each other and talk with each other, hanging out on the street like that is something that is pretty rare to see in neighborhood in America. Most people are isolated in their homes, and especially in the cities. So that is something that um, I can still see in Vietnam. People. We play chess together outside. Um, when there's no pandemic, my dad will go downstairs to play chess with the neighbors, um, and he would play badminton with the neighbors. People are definitely not strangers, but something's very precious. I particularly like the way the camera angle is zooming to the glasses stuck on the top of the wall. Do you know what they use that for? They use it to prevent that instead of fancy technology system would ring or send messages to the phone when somebody entered. There was no such thing back then. You can still see that in Vietnam, in the older neighborhoods. And I see that a lot growing up, uh, which makes me really, really enjoy the ground. My mom loves her beliefs. Uh, you don't cook them. Those are just leaves like basil that smell fresh and nice. And you will serve them with noodles like food, or you will roll them up in the spring roll. It's really yummy. I didn't like it growing up, but now I really enjoy the fresh herbal leaves. And like in the first episode of Big Line 1988, the family just eats, just eats so much herbal leaves. There are leaves that tons of them on the table. It's like it's good with the main dish on the table because of how much it occupies the space. This little video is my first impression of Reply 1988. There are a lot of things I want to talk about more. And if you would like to listen to them, please leave a comment below. And please subscribe so that I know this video is nice to watch. I want to dedicate this video to my mom, the most loveliest person on the planet. So for this video, I didn't really write a script. For the last video, it took me like one day to write down all my thoughts. It was so hard 
it was a lot of work. So this video, I decided to just write some outlines and then speak very naturally in front of the camera with all my accent and grammar mistake. I think this is also make everything more natural because I don't really like how formal I look when I try to read an essay out of pages. So I hope I hope you enjoy this video.